There's a good one. Oh, there he is. What's up guys, welcome back to Georgia Boy Outdoors. If you hadn't already, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click on that notifications icon. All right, Satilla River float trip today, and we're going to a part of Satilla that unless you're from this immediate area, you've probably never even heard of. Um, these boat ramps we're gonna be at today aren't even listed on Satilla waterway maps. Uh, we're talking a little tiny bridge and dirt road boat ramps, um, but some awesome fishing. You know, the flatheads haven't made it this far up river um, and impacted the red breast population they way, they, the way they have further down. It really reminds me of the Satilla River that I fished 30 years ago. Man, that stings to say that. Ooh, time goes by fast. But anyway, uh, the water's running a little high. I don't expect to catch a bunch of fish, but I am looking to catch 10 or so big fish. I mean, this, this thing harbors some real big, thick, knot-headed red breasts. I mean, the ones that, the ones that you like. Uh, at the end of the show, I'll try to give some details as far as some of the more boring stuff, water levels, discharge, um, you know, cubic foot, all that stuff for people that are interested in making this trip herself. It's really good if you've got a small boat or a kayak, but hey, let's quit talking. Let's get out on the water. There we go, fish. That looks like a decent little red press there. Come on. Oh yeah. All right. I started off with this white and chartreuse Colt 45 because of this muddy water. And man, that is a way to start the morning. Paddled down river about 30 minutes and they biting good. There's a good one. That's a nice fish. Oh man, that is a good, good fish. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Man, what a red breast. Good, gracious and mighty. Woo! If you don't love that, something's wrong with you. Old white and chartreuse Colt 45, that is a monster. Golly. See all this current swirling over here? There ought to be a big rooster just outside of it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Man, I called that one. They are easy to predict. Look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you. Man, you're showing out. All day, every day. Man, what a fish. Good gracious. Wow. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Huh? <laughs> 
There we go. That feels like a good fish. Come on, oh baby. Red, red, red. Man. Whew. Unreal. Beautiful fish, man. Just sitting right out of the current there. Seems like today we're catching them in those little slack areas because it's pushing through here so hard, but they're by. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't think we'll need the net for you, but you're pulling hard in the current. Man, good fish. There we go. That is a good fish. Hear that drag slipping? Man, whoo. I want to see what you are. Oh yeah. No, 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 that's not what I wanted you to do. Rooster, man. Oh, all right guys, while I'm unhooking this fish, I'm gonna talk about today's setup that I'm using. Zebco Bullet, the 20 series. It's got eight pound Trilene XL, Zebco Omega, Mega medium action rod. Got it from my boy Seth up at Still Feed. He built this just for what I'm doing. Um, throwing the Colt 45, which is Georgia Boy Lures, if y'all hadn't checked out our page on Facebook. And this isn't a sales pitch. Let me finish what I'm gonna say, but golly, that hook sticks in there good. Um, it's a bigger spinner bait. It's a little bit bigger than a beetle spin or some of the other uh, spinner baits that you can find out there. And I feel like it catches bigger fish. You won't catch as many fish, um, but it seems like it, it brings in a bigger one. But as you float this stretch of river, any type of beetle spin, spinner bait, whatever you like will work good. This is just what I'm using. So another good rooster. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. What we got here? Fat stump knocker. Good gracious. Man, he's a chunk. Gets a little tight right here. Shout out to my good buddy, Will Steed, who cut some of this the other day. Oh. Mm. One of these days. Yeah, like I was saying, one of these days. When I get snake bit, y'all gonna be able to say I had it coming. <clears throat> There's something right there. This one feels pretty good. Something has grabbed this spinner. Oh yeah, that's what we come looking for right there. Come on, big fella. Man, you're big. Golly, don't come off that hook. Woo, woo, rooster. Man, look how he choked that Colt 45 spinner bait. Black and purple, man. That is what we come looking for. There we go. That's a good fish. You are good. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Mm. Fat fish. 
Oh, that's a good one. Good gracious. I'm going to knock him off with the net. Another big rooster. All right, guys, I have made it to Duncan Bridge five and a half hours later. Um, today, the Satilla, the 158 gauge is running about seven, seven and a half feet. So it's a little higher up this way. Uh, I'd say if it's running at five feet at 158, this is gonna be really low. Uh, it's gonna bottom out. So I'd give myself my first time doing this a good anywhere in the five to, I'd even say nine or 10 hour range. Uh, if you got more questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to reach out to you. Hey, thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, whoo, I'm out of breath. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on that notifications icon and we will see y'all next time out on the water.